Hello, this is Heidi Veland, and my media presentation today is on how the media actually began affecting women's body image thousands of years ago, and how this is actually the reason why we are still affected by body image today. At first, I'd like to talk about uh, the meaning of body image. Um, body image is just the perception that you have of yourself physically and the thoughts and feelings that result from that perception. Um, these thoughts and feelings are influenced by the individual and by environmental factors, um, one of these being the media. And I found this great picture from an article I found on the Journal of Ethics website. The article is titled, What Historical Ideals of Women's Shapes Teach Us About Women's Self-Perception and Body Decisions Today? This picture really helped me to understand what body image meant even at the beginning of time and why it was even put in place. Um, and it's just because women needed a way to survive. And one of these ways was to make themselves more desirable to men because the only way for a woman to survive was to get married um, for, for many years, even up to 30 years ago. Um, so this is a statue of the goddess Venus. It dates back to 28,000 BCE. And this is one of the first um, pieces of media that you can see is uh, affecting woman's body image and, and kind of pointing out what desirable aspects are of a woman. Um, it is from the Britannica website is where I got this photo. And you can see her body is exaggerated to represent female fertility. Um, making her more desirable as procreation and survival was the only topic of interest at the beginning of time. Um, so as a woman in the past, one of your only ways and most guaranteed ways of survival, as I stated earlier, was to be married to a good and wealthy husband, as women were heavily controlled by society and forced to rely on men to keep them alive. And this is a good example of how different body image was uh, such a long time ago. Um, because in this comic that was also found on the Journal of Ethics website from the same article, you can see um, the statues on the left of the three women. The body image at that time was to be heavier, which is the opposite of today. And that's because this meant that you were rich and you had plenty of money for food. So this is just another example of how body image just was about women's survival. Um, this quote was also from the Journal of Ethics site, and it said, historically, a woman's body was her best survival tool in patriarchal societies. Expectations about a woman's size and physical char characteristics were dictated by male desire and marriageability. Therefore, a woman's body, appearance, appearance and health were and still are heavily influenced by social and cultural ideologies, beliefs, and values, as well as by technology. And of course, um, as I have my work cited up for you to look at, um, people are creatures of habit. And because women have been so controlled by society and the media up until about the past 30 years or so, uh, women's bodies have worked into economic profit for others to make money and survival off of the deprecation and defeat of women's confidence. So the survival of women in the media quickly became a target for money as media has developed as well. And that is my presentation on how the media has uh, affected women over the years and why it is the way it is today.